the news with Rob Gronkowski coming back unretiring. And just like that, the Buccaneers have immediately been thrust even deeper into the Super Bowl conversation. A lot of people liked them before, and now they really do. How do you think this move will affect the balance of power in the NFC? I think it is a significant move for Tampa, but I don't think it is as big a deal in Tampa as it is in New England. Sage, this has been a very difficult offseason for Bill Belichick. There's just no two ways about it. If you look at it, Tom Brady decided he wanted to continue to play. He just needed to go somewhere else. Rob Gronkowski, and you brought it up with Rosenhaus, and you played the sound where five months after he retired, he was basically in tears talking about how much fun he wasn't having. Now he wants to play, but not in New England. I, I think at the end of the day, this has been a statement about what it is like to play in New England for Bill Belichick. And listen, it is extraordinarily successful and no one can ever change that. Nothing will take away from it. But I think the degree to which it is a mental grind is being on display right now with two of the greatest players he ever coached. Yep, great point. We heard Jeff Darlington say something similar, that it was not just the physical issues that Gronk was having, but the Patriot way and how taxing that is for so many people. Mike Greenberg, again, your interview with Commissioner Roger Goodell tomorrow morning on Get Up at 8 Eastern. Thank you. Good to see you. Well, Kevin, you have to go back to everything Rob Gronkowski has been saying since he retired. He said, I just would have to get that feeling back. You know, he was pretty honest and emotional when he when he retired and he talked about how football was bringing him down and he wasn't in a good place and he was losing that joy in life. Well, what's one big thing to bring that joy back? Tom Brady landing in Tampa Bay. It's not just Brady. It's the different culture, the different environment and the chance to pair up with Brady and see football from a different perspective than what they did in New England. I'm told really set the wheels in motion for Gronkowski to consider this comeback. Only tight end in NFL history to have 10 or more touchdown receptions in five seasons. Now the show goes down to Tampa. Mike Reese reporting on the very latest. So what was your reaction when you heard this was actually happening, Ryan, this afternoon? Oh, so I'm fired up, man. I mean, this is exciting. And listen, in a time like this where we're just talking about the draft and wondering who's going to be picking how good that guy will be, we know what Rob Gronkowski and Tom Brady can do together. And yes, they're older. Rob's had a year off. But to have that type of chemistry going into Tampa when you already have Evans and Howard and Godwin on the outside, I mean, this is extremely exciting. And I heard Sage speaking about some of the power that Tom Brady has in Tampa already, but think about the connection and the power that he has with Rob Gronkowski. There was a trade to Detroit. He refused to go because Tom wasn't there. He retires, but only comes back to play for Tampa because of Tom Brady. That type of chemistry, that type of relationship with two championship Hall of Fame players and individuals, that can bring wins to a team. If you're a Tampa Bay Buccaneers fan, you got to go buy one of those ugly new jerseys <laughs> because this team is going to be fun to watch. Captain Obvious today, but I just felt <laughs> <laughs> like I had to ask sources with Tampa Bay, you know, what, what played into this? And, and Tom Brady was the answer I got back. And, uh, you know, when I talked to some other sources there, they, they said, of course, he had a big role. He wanted him here. Um, and what's interesting, Wendy, is I was reaching out like two and a half weeks ago. I had heard a few rumors uh, from people in Tampa outside the NFL um, that this was starting to to, to garner some speed here and momentum and that Gronk was seen with Brady. But, you know, we hear these rumors all the time. And when I had reached out to Tampa about it, uh, this, you know, sources there kept saying to me, sorry, we know nothing about it because you know what? That's tampering. So while everyone seems to want to come to Tampa these days, right now we're not in talks with New England because he's New England's property right now. At least we're not talking to Rob Gronkowski. Uh, they could talk to New England. And then just to follow up on that in terms of this deal, I was told this all came together over the last few days. Um, so it, it moved quickly, obviously being the big headline of the day. And, you know, uh, another source I talked to in Tampa about Gronk's size, because we know he physically looks so different. You guys have been talking about it. He's much more uh, lean and slender than what we know of Gronk. And, and I was, it was explained to me that they are going to want to use Gronk um, as, a, as a receiver. They're going to use his height, obviously. They're also going to use his physicality to block. But you look at the receivers they have and with a height like Mike Evans, that's how they see it. Uh, and that's how they believe they can use them. But uh, once again, Tampa today feeling like they're winners here. I'm just, I mean, look, uh, let me 
preface it by saying the only surprise I have here is that the New England Patriots seemingly were able to or decided they were willing to to let Rob Gronkowski essentially out of his contract in New England to join Tom Brady in Tampa. Um, Rob Gronkowski and Tom Brady have a relationship like few others in all of sports. These guys are very close on and off the field. They just have this this kinship, this this friendship uh, that definitely definitely transcends just football. Now. To Tom Brady, he always wanted Rob Gronkowski wherever he ended up. And Gronkowski, I think, was always going to be open to it, but never really necessarily thought it was going to be overly realistic. Now we get to the point where all of a sudden the compensation reached a point where the Patriots were willing to do so. Uh, and by allowing him to go, then it became the no-brainer. And one thing that we should really point out here, I think that there was maybe a, a perhaps misinterpreted uh, narrative when Rob Gronkowski originally retired that it was all due to physical fatigue, that his body had just broken down to the point where he couldn't play football anymore. And to a degree, there was some truth to that. But mental fatigue was always the big reason why Gronkowski was ultimately done with football. He was done with the Patriot way. He was tired of quite honestly playing uh, in that very structured uh, Patriot system. Not necessarily a knock on the Patriots, just the way Gronkowski felt. So now, if he can reinvigorate his career in a place that is far more laid back, yeah, that was when this became truly a no-brainer. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.